we're going to talk about the Watto Jajis, and those are the points that are 0.5 soon lateral to the spine, and that would be on both sides, so it would be bilateral. So go ahead and come in here to the cervical area. Now, C1 through C7, which is the big knot, all these little points on both sides can treat pain points and stiffness of the neck. They're also lo local points if people have a lot of distension and pain. So from C7, which is the big knotted vertebrae, we're gonna go to the first through the fourth, which are these points right here. Come in a little bit closer. These, um, Thoracics treat the lung and the upper limbs. And then when we go through the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, these points here will treat the liver gallbladder area. And then when we go the 10, 11, 12, these treat the spleen and stomach. When we go to lumbar um, one and two, those will treat any kidney disorders, and also any low back pain. Those are really great to do that. And then when we go to the third, fourth, and fifth lumbar, that treats the bladder, the large intestine, the small intestine, the uterus, um, bladder issues, and also this is the bladder channel that runs down the body all the way down the leg. That is our bladder channel. That's very important to treat any sciatica pain, any low back pain, and that would be three soon out. So what you would do is you'd find your spine and just lay your fingers, this is three soon out, so that line goes like this. It's also on the border of the scapula here. What I'm gonna do at this point, this is a 25 by 75 needle. I'm gonna take it close to T1. I'm gonna slide it all the way down to about T4, T5. Then I'm gonna insert a second one, insert it down. I'm gonna run it on both sides of her spine to loosen these erector spinae muscles because they're just too tight and it's creating a lot of sciatic pain that goes down her right glute into her knee.